Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I need to put the volume down. It is extremely loud. No, that's louder. Much better. Jeez, couldn't even hear myself talk. Alright, so we've got to go below the clouds. Look, it's a whole part of town that we haven't seen, and we never will see. Because it's all side quest stuff. We need the Boyd. Right, I'm sitting a little farther back from my computer than I typically do, just so... <laughs> it's not a nightmare to control this thing. Oh, these... Okay. Master Link, observe. The green pillar below you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. Also, this music always reminded me of, like, The Big O, the show. It's like that's some kind of, like, triumphant fanfare. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Okay. Oh, wait. Eh? Oh. So I have to go to these islands. Okay. Do they? It's weird to call it an island when it's not in the water. It appears you'll be able to reach. You will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds of the column space. I like how the bird is just permanently stuck in like go fast mode. So how do I? Died. God, I would not wait so long to pull. Ah, ah, ah. I didn't realize I was in, in control. Oh, you start here. Well, isn't that interesting? Master Link, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has been has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you're currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Bing. Okay, you can stop zooming in. Please proceed with caution, Master. Why? Do I need to like? Isn't there a way to do this? No, guess not. The sword. Alright, I get it, you want Oh my god, it's so imprecise. Sideways! Thank you. What is this? Ew. Jelly Bluff. May look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Ew. That's gross. Right, I've got a really get a handle on these motion controls otherwise it's going to be a night master of information for you I have the ability to offer information on items and creatures you target with Z while targeting something with Z press down and it will brief you all oh right I forgot you could do that they kind of got rid of that in more modern Zeldas tell me about them Babas Stargalak Dikubaba. Violent plant is widespread in wooded areas. We'll attempt to bite anything that approaches it. Though it is covered in a tougher outer, huh? Blah blah blah. Two varieties vertically and horizontally. Wow, you can count all the ones I've 
I don't like I don't like when games track that much. I don't want I want to target no that one please. God. You. Oh. What is the spooky? I mean, I know what the spooky is. God, it is real pixely. Hello, you. You seen things, Linky Boy? That place is much more important than the one down there for now. It's weird that hearts grow on plants in this game. That's really weird. What do you want? Master, I have information to report. While these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by a powerful unidentified force. Knock knock? No? Okay. Do I need to... No? Okay. Oh, man, this is so itchy. Hmm. No, well, we're not doing anything down there yet, so I guess this was the way to go. Oh, if only I had a bug catching net. Can I just like walk up and grab these guys? Nope. Oh well. Oh. Not in here. Um Hmm. Do we need to figure out a way to get in there? I don't remember this. Inspect. Maybe I need to go down there? I thought I had to go here first, but I guess not. Let's try going down here. In a way, I guess this kind of inspired... Oh, God. Inspired the uh, paraglider system from Breath of the Wild. Yeah, you know. Young one, child of destiny, descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Come on, skyward. You stay there. Ooh. Well, that's convenient. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Would you like to explain? Yes. I don't remember. As you wish. Dowsing is when I detect the presence of the aura of something you wish to search for using the tip of the sword. It's like the wolf thing from... Twilight Princess. The nearer you are to an object emitting the aura in question, the stronger the response will be. This response manifests through vibration and sound. 
The direction of the object emitting the aura is indicated by the purple pointer you see. Huh. Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Eh. That way. Guys, can you imagine if they made you run all the way up to get back to only things? Uh, how do I do the thingy? Do you feel like opening now? Oh. Much better. I did it. Oh yeah, this place. The sealed temple. Bird statue. Just safe. I think it, it, you have want to at least use a bird statue once. I think they can be used as a fast travel system or something like that. Hello. Ah, oh. Oh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Tell me, what is your name? Link? Ah, Link. Good. Very good. I said you've already gained control over the sacred power that fills your sword when pointed skyward. The skyward strike is yours to command. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess sword. I have sat for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it, the gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Mm -hmm. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Fair and Woods to discover the destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Faron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so it will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. Oh god, there's a lot of stuff Breath of the Wild took from this game. Uh, eh. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Faron Woods and chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. I like that her hair is a pendulum. You are ready. Leave through the door before you and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Uh, now you said treasure chests. 
What is this? Is this like a little stool? Oh, I think someone... I think you can talk to people when you sit on stools like that. What? There's no chest here, though. Am I missing something? Is it in this... Oh, that thing. Oh. That's a chest. It is so tiny. Revitalizing potion. Wait, does that give me a bottle too? Oh, now I have two bottles. Cool. God, that must be the fastest time between bottles in any Zelda game. Look how pretty. There's the beacon. Birds! Can't I actually, like, catch these birds, I think? Oh, God. Here we go. Out of the way! Scram! God, this combat sucks. An ornamental skull. <laughs> the freeze frame of the guy flying away. Thank you, I guess. Anyone else? Ooh, thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. Oh, you big for taking care of those guys. Let me tell you something fascinating. Yes? Hey. Here, bud. I am Gorko the Gorom. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there is some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently these old statues serve as landmarks for those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on a number of landmarks. They are rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly this statue is special. It is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. Mm. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I, for one, believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be all here all over the place? It is a real head-scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, doesn't it? Sure. Oh. Yeah, sounds like I'm a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright, bud. You had better brace yourself, because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this. People actually live on this sky island, and they get around by flying on the backs of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess, and the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society, totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that, but from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. This isle of the goddess is even more stuff to marvel at. The place is crafted by the goddess herself, so it figures that it's filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff and you live forever. The trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. The fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh, the weather, bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Mm -hmm. Amazing, right? Wrong. It is beyond amazing. <coughs> God, this guy's voice is rough in my throat. Mm -hmm. You want to hear more about it, don't you, bud? 
Sure. Oh, sorry, your throat. Ooh. Good to hear, bud. I'm completely obsessed with this place. I cannot get enough of it. I wish I had more to tell you now, but I'll need to research these statues to learn more. Next time I bump into you, I'll give you the latest info. Thank you, Gorko. <laughs> it lives. Oh. Mm. What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? Oh. The statue reacted the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? What's that ruby? Also, is that a... What is that, a fruit? A beehive? A bug. Something I can climb into up there. Oh, yeah, you can go... I know you can go back to this guy with these things. Goro. What was that? This statue just reacted to you. What did you do? Come on, do not make a big guy beg. I have got to know. Can I tell him? I have to examine this statue further, bud. Who knows what I might find out. You don't wear pants. Also, this is kind of interesting. I mean, maybe not to everyone, but it was interesting to me because this is at the beginning of all the timelines for Zelda. This is the start of everything. And I also show you that Gorons are one of the oldest, if not the oldest race, besides like Hylians. Because that's a Goron. They haven't changed much across the m many, many, many years. Uh, what does the map look like? I need to go dad away. Then what is this? What's up here? What is this cave? What does it do? Oh, it's a shortcut. <clears throat> yes, please. Now I can get back up here. Oh god, that <clears throat> doing that guy's voice demolished my throat. You have any more news since I was gone? Okay, nothing new. All right, well, I guess uh, we'll continue heading. To, where are we going? Farron Woods? Is that what it's called in this one? Yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. So, thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll the next episode up real soon. But until then, bye.